Simba, Hydrox, and Boo, the Lucky Ferals. It's 6.30 a.m. Good morning, Boo. Boo is sleeping on the cat tower in the bedroom. Then he jumped on the bed. Then I started petting him and he walked in the living room. Good morning, Simba. Simba's very sleepy. He says, what are you doing up so early? Boo's following me around. Hello, Boo. Splash is sleeping on the back of the sofa. And here's Stella. Stella sleeping on the cat tower. None of the cats want to get up this early except for Boo. And look at Boo. Boo's ready for crunchies. Last night they had crunchies right before I went to bed and I gave them the last round of crunchies and then I just like left them here. And uh, yeah, Boo says, give me more crunchies. This morning the cats are getting brushed before they eat their breakfast. Look, Stella's doing what Boo does. Stella's rubbing up against the arch while she's getting brushed. That's exactly what Boo does. Hey, Stella. I don't know why Boo's hanging out on the steps. Usually he comes downstairs to get brushed. Come on. You wanna go upstairs and be brushed? Oh, you want the new rug? Boo likes the new grass rug. Maybe he doesn't like scratching on it that much. You gonna lay down on the grass? Who are you gonna lay in the grass rug? Where are you going? Come on. Come here, boo. Come on. Like he wants to scratch it, like the scratching rug, you know the other scratching rug that they have? But for me to put a rug here, it has to be thin and the scratching rug is too thick. See, he wants to scratch it, but it's not, not that kind of rug, boo. Not that kind of rug, okay? But so far, the rug has not moved, so that's good. Okay, ready for breakfast, boo? Come on. I'm putting together breakfast for the cats, and all of a sudden, something happened. I have no idea what. The cats were all hanging out around here, their usual place. And then I just heard like banging and all of them running in opposite directions. I have no idea. I think there's one or two down here, the rest are upstairs. They ran through the kitchen and this rug used to be here. So that rug's now there. This is all put to the side. What happened, Boo? Are you okay? Are you okay, Boo? His tail's all puffed out. Are you okay, Boo? What's the matter? What's wrong, Boo? What scared you, Boo? What scared you? Who's scaring you, Boo? Why are you scared, Boo? I just checked the security footage and the security camera was recording and then it just stopped. I mean, normally it keeps recording while there's still motion but for some strange reason, it just completely stopped. So it did not record whatever happened. It recorded like leading up to it. So leading up to it, Boo was walking down the stairs. Splash was walking toward the stairs. Stella was watching me make food. So I'm assuming maybe Splash uh, jumped on Boo or jumped at Boo or Splash chased Boo up the steps. I don't know, but Boo's still freaked out. He's staring at his room. So, I'm assuming maybe Splash is in Boo's room. Let's go take a look. I just checked Boo's room and none of the cats are in here. Meanwhile, in my room under the bed, there's Splash and there's Simba. There's two cats under the bed. They're all freaked out. It's about 8.45 p.m. right now and I finished putting out food for the cats. I even like refilled a crunchy jar and I was shaking the crunchy jar and none of the cats came running for crunchies, so something really weird is going on. Even Simba's like all freaked out now. 
I don't know what he's doing. Stella's on top of the stairs. What's the matter? I just put the platter of food upstairs where the cats have crunchies. And uh, Stella came running. And Simma came running. And Boo's walking around. He's still nervous. And Splash is still under the bed. I have no idea what happened. And Boo's been eating his food and he's picking off the other plates. And Stella's just hanging out here. And Splash is still under the bed. So I picked up his plate and I put it aside for him. Hopefully he'll come out and he'll eat later. It's 9.05 a.m. I just walked past the living room and I saw this, so Boo has finished eating. And Stella said she's gonna then go and finish whatever Boo did not want to eat. It's 11 a.m. and Boo's been laying in the hallway because he is strategically blocking whoever is coming out of his room or my room. Right, Boo? Stella has been all crashed out by the windows, taking a nap. Splash is still under the bed, and Simba went back under the bed to keep him company. Hey, Simba. So, I'm just about to leave, but I am going to give Splash his food under the bed. I think Splash knows he did something wrong, so he's just giving himself like a form of self-punishment. There you go, Splash. Eat your food. You can eat it. It's yours. If he does not eat it, I'm sure Simba's going to eat it. <laughs> Simba's looking at it. I'm sorry, it's dark. Eat your food, Splash. You can do it. Hello, Simba. It is 8.27 p.m. It is really hot and humid out again. And Hydrox just came by, um, I don't know, maybe 20 minutes ago, right before I fed the cats. The cats had sardines for dinner because it was just such a crazy morning and I totally forgot to defrost raw food. So I just gave him sardines. And Hydrox is having half of a can of the Trader Joe's Ocean Whitefish. If he eats that, I will give him more. And, um, yep, that's what's going on. It was a very busy day today. Here's Boo. Boo says, how come Hydrox is eating? And I'm not eating. Boo, you have some sardines downstairs. None of the cats really finished their sardines. There's still more down there, Boo. You could have them. You could finish your sardines. They're downstairs. And here's Stella. I put her bowl under the table yesterday. It is 8.38 a.m. right now. Good morning, Stella. How are you today? The cats have been up since about 6 a.m. Well, that's what time I got up. And actually, the cats were up since about 5 a.m., because I had to check the security camera footage because I was woken up by a really big bang and I don't know what it was, I don't know who it was it was definitely something that the cats were doing but they did it outside of the range of the security cameras but I couldn't tell who did it or what it was and here's Simba he's hanging out in the tub under the table how are you today Simba? Is there something you'd like to tell me? What was that noise? What was that noise that woke me up today, Simba? Was it you and Splash playing? You and Splash were wrestling and you knocked something over? Well, you almost knocked it over because it sounded like a cat tower got knocked down. But when I woke up, there were no cat towers knocked over. What was it, Simba? Good morning, Boo. How are you today? Boo got lots of pets on the bed today. And Stella got lots of pets on the bed today, right, Stella? You guys both got lots of pets. And here's Hydrox. Hydrox is by the back door. So this morning, um, around 7.20, I went out for a bike ride. And then I came back, and I decided, let me water all the plants outside. And there was some um, debris on top of the patio table. So I took the hose, and I was kind of cleaning the table off with the hose. 
The next thing I know, Hydrax goes running out from under the table. Um, I guess he got hit by some of the water and I guess he was sleeping on one of the patio chairs. So I guess that's one of his new places. He likes hanging out on the patio chairs. The cats are eating their breakfast. They're having homemade raw food with a few treats on top and one of the nature's variety freeze dried chicken bites sprinkled over all four. Boo says he's very happy to always have a nice meal, but he doesn't like to rush through his meals. He likes to take his time and savor them, except with crunchies, he can't help himself. Like, he really loves crunchies so much that he really can't help himself. Like, he can't slow down and savor those meals. And sometimes with canned food, he can't slow down either because he just loves it too much. But with his everyday raw food, he loves it and he likes to savor it. He, he likes knowing that uh, he doesn't have to go without meals and he doesn't have to hunt for his food. Right, Boo? The other cats pretty much finished their food. I feel like sometimes they leave a little bit so they can come back to it later for a snack. Look at Simba's shoes. He looks like he has little dark shoes on. Simba, I like your shoes. I like your shoes, Simba. Simba says he doesn't have shoes. He has paws. You look like you have little dark shoes on. It is 9 a.m. and I just gave Hijack some food. He's having half of a can of the Trader Joe's chicken turkey and rice dinner. You want more? Okay, I'll give you some more. I'm giving Hydrox the rest of this can of food and I put a rehydrated anchovy on it. I'm just curious to see if he'll eat that. If he eats the anchovy, it could be very good for him because it's very high in calcium. And that's definitely what his body needs, especially, you know, if he's FIV infected, he needs lots of minerals. I just put one of the rehydrated anchovies on Boo's plate. Boo, you gonna eat it? Look, it's an anchovy. Yeah. You want the anchovy? You gonna eat it? Yeah. You gonna eat it? Yeah. You want it? Boo don't want it. Stella, you want it? It's a fish. You wanna eat the fish? <laughs> I don't want it. <laughs> so Simba's watching Hydrox eat. Hydrox went over to his food. And I'm holding this reconstituted anchovy. This rehydrated anchovy. You gonna eat it, Simba? You wanna eat this anchovy? He's thinking about it. Here, you gonna eat it? Okay, you want me to hold it the other way? Here, you want the tail? Yeah. You want it? You want it? Do you want it? Do you want the anchovy? Sim says he don't want it. I wonder if Hydrox is gonna eat it. Yeah. Hydrox just ate all his food, but he did not touch the anchovy. So it's unanimous. Cats don't like these dried anchovies, even if they are rehydrated. It's 6.10 p.m. and I'm making myself a salad for dinner and I'm wondering if Simba would like some lettuce. 
This is from a bag of baby lettuce. You gonna eat it, Stella? Here. Boo, you want lettuce? Who wants lettuce? You can eat it. Gonna eat it? Or you want the you want the other end? Yeah. Want the green end? Gonna eat the green end? Yeah. Who wants the green end? Wanna eat the green end? I'm always gonna try the green end. Eat the green end, Simba. You like you like it. Yeah, you like it. You want it on the floor? You gonna eat it on the floor? You can eat it. The cats want cat grass. I have to grow them some new cat grass. Today for dinner, the cats are getting homemade raw food with a few blue wilderness treats on top and a few dollops of organic chicken pot pie baby food. The cats are all eating their dinner. It is 9.06 p.m. and I was just sitting at the kitchen table editing a video and I heard regurgitation, you know, that pumping sound. And I was like, oh my gosh, who could it be? Because nobody really overate. So I don't understand why the vomit. Um, it's not a lot of vomit. Um, but it was Boo, and I'm very happy that he vomited um, on this little scratching rug. This is a $4.99 rug, and the floor, it's easy to clean it off the floor. And as far as this rug goes, I'm just going to toss the rug out. I could always get a new one, um, or just put a different rug here right now. So, um, I just, I don't know why he's throwing up. I mean, he didn't eat really fast and then puke. Um, and he did not overeat, like this is not an excessive amount of vomit. In fact, they ate probably like two hours ago. So, I don't know what this is from unless it's like the heat. I don't know. It is quite warm in here right now. It's 7 a.m. and Boo was hanging out in the cat towers with Splash. So Boo was on the cat tower on the left and Splash is on the cat tower on the right. They were just hanging out together, it was so cool. But the minute I turned the camera on, it was to jump down. It is 8.13 a.m. and today for breakfast, the cats are trying Taste of the Wild. This is Rocky Mountain Feline Formula with salmon and roasted venison in gravy. It says it's a grain-free diet. The cats are getting this because um, what I did last night was I put the raw food in the refrigerator instead of on the counter and it was still frozen this morning and I took it out and it's still frozen so um, I'm gonna leave that for their dinner I'll put it back in the fridge and take it out later for dinner so this is what they're having the ingredients are salmon fish broth chicken broth chicken liver chicken first five ingredients all very strong ingredients and then we have dried egg whites, potato starch, pea flour, smoked salmon, roasted venison, peas, ocean fish, guar gum, natural flavor, sunflower oil, sodium phosphate, salt, potassium chloride, inulin, tomatoes, blueberries, raspberries, taurine, and then we go into vitamins and minerals. So actually, 
The name of the food is salmon and roasted venison. However, where's venison on the ingredient list? It is way down the line. It is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's number 10 on the list of ingredients. There's more dried egg whites and potato starch in here than roasted venison. So um, that's a bit deceiving. I mean, it's really salmon, fish broth, chicken broth, chicken liver, chicken. It really should be salmon and chicken liver. So the cats are getting this for breakfast. Let's see how they like it. And this is what it looks like. It looks like processed meat chunks. I mean, this does not look like salmon at all. This is what it looks like after I added additional water to it. There's a lot more gravy going on here. So the cats, cats should really like this, hopefully. And there's one pea. There's like one pea in here. Pooh, you want breakfast? Pooh, you want some breakfast? Are you hungry, boo? You want food? Pooh, you want some food? Okay, we're gonna eat. You ready? Who's eating? Ready, guys? We're gonna eat. Yeah, you're hungry? Okay. Here's your food. A splash will smell it and walk away. That's what he always does with new food. Maybe he'll come back. If not, I'll have to take his food away. And hopefully, Boo will not eat this too fast and then vomit. Stella is very delicately licking up all of the gravy. Simba's just eating all the chunks. And Boo's licking up the gravy also. Eat your food, Splash. Eat it. You like it. Eat it. It's food. Eat it. He's thinking about it. Simba pretty much finished his food. And now he's looking at Boo and Stella's to see who, who he can eat. Who else's food can he eat? Boo pushed all of his little chunks to the far side of the plate. He's eating them now that he's licked up all the gravy. And there goes Simba, he's gonna eat some of Stella's. It is 8.08 p.m. and I just got home like a few minutes ago. I rushed home uh, because I was out running some errands tonight and I got out of a store and I was driving down the road and I just saw like the darkest clouds in the distance and then I checked satellite weather and sure enough thunderstorms were on the way. So I immediately turned around got home as fast as I could, unloaded the car, I fed Hydrax under the table, hopefully he'll eat his food, um, scooped all the litter. I did everything that I needed to do outside because I'm waiting for the storm to hit. I don't know what you could see on the camera, but it's really weird. Like in the distance, the sky is like a reddish purple and then it's like normal, like up above. So I know that's the direction where the storm is. So hopefully it will pass quickly and it won't be too bad. I'm just really hope I'm just really happy to get home um, before it gets here and to be able to do everything that I needed to do. And just want to remind everyone when you're out and about, uh, always look at the sky um, because you'll see things that most other people might not see. 
and uh, you know you could avoid being caught out in a bad storm. That's where I put Hydrax's food. It's under the table so it's sheltered from the rain and hopefully Hydrax will eat it and maybe hang out on one of the patio chairs also sheltered. He was here but I don't know where he went. It is 8 20 p.m. and look at this the storm is here. It is pouring rain. I'm so happy. I noticed the sky. I am so happy. I got Hydrox bed. I got everything done and now I don't have to get soaking wet in this rain. It's 8 30 p.m. It's still raining. There's been some lightning and Sim and Splash are at the back door. I don't know what they're looking at. I wonder if Hydrox is out there. Hello, Simba. Are they just watching the rain? They're very interested. Oh, they're watching a raccoon. There's a raccoon there. Actually, there's multiple raccoons there. And Stella and Boo just got into some kind of a fight. So the raccoons are eating Hydrax's food under the table. And they're also trying to get food from the feeder. I'm actually surprised that they're out in the rain because normally I don't see raccoons in bad weather. But they must be really hungry. It is 8.42 p.m. right now. And the storm's getting worse. It's still raining, but the thunder has gotten louder and there's a lot of lightning and hopefully Hydrax took shelter somewhere. This is what happens when the cats want their crunchies. They all sit around this crunchy blanket. This little picnic blanket has become like their crunchy blanket and they all hang out here. But tonight they're not getting crunchies. Tonight I have some canned cat food and this is what they're getting instead. And Boo's here. See how nicely they sit? They each sit by a plate. And Simba says, what are you giving us? So Boo ate all of his, Stella's eating hers. Simba is tasting his and Splash did the same thing where he kind of sniffs it and then he walks around. It's almost like he's going on patrol. It's like he sniffs it and he's like, oh, well, I better start patrolling the area. The cats have just about finished all of this canned food and Splash has been eating it along with Stella and Boo and Simba walked off. So, good job, Splash. Thank you for watching this Lucky Earl's video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you'd like me to post more videos, and please make sure to check out these other videos that were selected especially for you.